the ongoing political crisis in Armenia, President Armen Sarkisyan has initiated discussions with Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and the ruling and opposition party representatives. On Saturday, Pashinyan met with Sarkisyan. They discussed the situation in the country, ways of solving the crisis, and overcoming the internal political crisis. The option of holding early parliamentary elections was considered a solution. Sarkisyan met also with the leader of the parliamentary faction of the ruling My Step Bloc, Lilith Makuns, and the leader of the parliamentary opposition faction of the Bright Armenia Party, Edmo Marukyan. Meanwhile, opposition prosperous Armenia Party leader, Gaik Tsarukyan, noted that he holds discussions with three ex-presidents to get out of the current situation, touching upon the holding of snap parliamentary elections, and asked if he had behind-the-scenes meetings with Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. Tsarukyan said that media would know about his meetings with the Prime Minister. The Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh Defense Army has reported that 96 more servicemen, reservists and volunteers had fallen during the recent battles for the defense of the homeland. According to the official data published by the Artsakh Defense Army, the number of such casualties from the Armenian side has now reached 2,432. Meanwhile, search operations for the bodies of fallen servicemen in the territories now outside the jurisdiction of Artsakh have been suspended Monday due to unfavorable weather conditions. The total number of dead bodies retrieved ever since the ceasefire in November last year is 1,499, of which 23, according to preliminary data, are of civilians. Baku has once again refused to implement the provisions stated in the trilateral statement of November 9, 2020. One of the provisions concerned the exchange of prisoners of war under the all-for-all -all principle and another stated that the sides stand in the positions that they held. However, the Azerbaijani Ministry of Foreign Affairs claimed that the Armenians in captivity were sent to Azerbaijan after the signing of the truce and contrary to the statement of November 10, which implies the the dislocation of Armenian troops from Nagorno-Karabakh. Just a few days ago, the Azerbaijani authorities returned two Armenian women. According to the current information, a few more women are in captivity and several prisoners were in captivity before November the 10th. Nevertheless, Azerbaijan is doing its best to distort the truth and trying to change the status of the captives, presenting that as terrorists and holding leverage for pressure on the Armenian side. Arman Arakelyan, who was sentenced to 18 years in prison for killing an Azerbaijani in Russia, was extradited to Armenia on Saturday. Prior to that, Arakelyan was serving a sentence in the prison in Murmansk, Russia, where, according to his lawyers, his life could have been at risk because the Azerbaijanis could have taken revenge upon him. Arman Arakelyan, who was sentenced to 18 years in prison for killing an Azerbaijani in Russia, was already serving six years in the aforesaid prison. He had killed the said Azerbaijani when the latter had cursed in Arkadyan's cafe at the Armenians and broken the pictures of Armenian heroes. OSC chairperson in office, Swedish Foreign Minister Anne Linde will arrive in Armenia on Monday. A meeting between Armenian Foreign Minister Arai Vazian and Linde will take place Tuesday at the Foreign Ministry. Under the direction of Catholic Kosovo Armenians, Karak II, appointments were made within the congregation of the Mother See of Holy Hrvatsin. Accordingly, Father Mukhitar Grigorian was jointly called to serve in the Diocese of Artsakh of the Armenian Apostolic Church as the abbot of Dadibank Monastery. As of Monday morning, 317 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 178,702 in the country. Also, 10 more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 3,265 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 205. The total respective number so far is 166,410 and the number of people currently being treated is 8,190, which is an increase by 77 in one day. Armenian national football team captain and Roma midfielder Henrik Mkhitaryan underwent a medical examination after suffering an injury in the first leg of Roma's Europa League clash against Shakhtar Donetsk. He has sustained a muscle injury in his right calf and will be out of action for at least two to three weeks, Ayansa reports. Mkhitaryan will not be able to join the Armenian national squad this month, which will play three matches in the World Cup qualifiers.